Hi there, Jesse here from the Perot, just trying out a new shelter in place hobby, baking organs. Not that kind of organ, organ cookies. I seem to have hearts on the brain this week. The human heart is amazing. This fist size organ can pump over a gallon of blood throughout your body every single minute. Let's take a closer look at a sheep's heart. The muscles of your heart, also called cardiac muscles, contract and relax to move blood throughout the body in response to signals from the brain. All mammal hearts have four chambers, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. The left and right side are separated by a muscular septum. Let's see how blood flows through the heart. Deoxygenated blood, this is blood that has less oxygen and more carbon dioxide, from the body enters the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium. The muscles of the atrium contract to force blood through the tricuspid valves into the right ventricle. Blood then flows from the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve and out of the heart to the lungs. At the lungs, carbon dioxide is released and oxygen is absorbed. Oxygenated blood then moves through the pulmonary vein into the left atrium of the heart. Blood then moves through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. Then blood leaves the heart through the aortic valve into the aorta and on to the rest of the body. Your pulse is your heart rate, or the number of times your heart beats in one minute. It's a good idea to know your resting heart rate, just in case it changes. Let me show you how to check yours. For 15 seconds, count your heartbeats either at your wrist, just under the thumb, or your neck, just under the chin. Multiply this number by four to determine how many times your heart beats in one minute. Heart rate for children range from 70 to 100 beats per minute, while adults fall between 60 to 100 beats per minute. What do you think happens to your heart rate when you exercise? Does your heart rate increase or decrease? Let's find out. I've asked a few educators at the museum to share some of their favorite exercises. Let's compare their heart rates. It makes sense that your heart rate would increase during exercise. Your body is using up more oxygen and your heart beats faster to keep up with the demand. What besides exercise can increase your heart rate? Did you jump? A small structure in your brain called the amygdala detects scary or dangerous things in the environment. Your body may respond to this stress by increasing heart rate and breathing rate. I was playing fetch with my dog Lemon and I wondered how her heart rate might be different from ours. Want to learn how to take your dog's pulse? Place your index and middle finger on the femoral artery, which is right inside the thigh, not too far from this crease. Most dogs range between 70 to 120 beats per minute. Let's see how some other animals match up. This hummingbird's heart works pretty hard. This blue whale gets as low as two beats per minute when diving deep. That's crazy. I hope you enjoyed learning about the heart today. You can keep your heart strong with a healthy diet and lots of exercise. My friend Tim sets a good example for his son, Flynn. Check out their exercise routine. Don't forget to hydrate.